Today I'm here with Lori Knapp talking about her newest self-published novel, 1111. Welcome to the show, Lori. Glad to be here. First, I've got to ask. I love the title, but what does it mean? Well, have you ever noticed that you often happen to look over the clock when it's exactly 1111? No. I mean, you know, like every once in a while? No, I can't say that that's ever happened to me. You must be crazy. Okay, well, maybe, but... I mean, look, you'd say that that was all just this coincidence, right? But honestly, there are people out there that think that it's some supernatural message from above. I'm not kidding. I looked it up online and I found all these wacko groups of people who say that these angels are using the 1111 thing as a sign to their followers and I mean you could even get on like this angel mailing list if you wanted them to email you with their mystical instructions. Okay, so you know, I was intrigued by this whole idea that there are these groups of people out there who believe in something and we may say that they're just crazy, but what if they're actually right? So, you're crazy. Well, that's the thing. I'm not just talking about 1111. I mean, everyone with a mental illness, be it schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder, paranoia, they believe in something that we generally accept as being untrue. My vision for this novel was asking what if some crazy people found out that they actually weren't crazy? That they really were being enlightened to some truth that the rest of us can't see? And what would that mean for them? So what's the story? Well, I started with a character named Libby, who has obsessive compulsive disorder. Now that disease runs in my family. Both my brother and I have experienced it. So, I mean, I know what it's like to think that you have to do these certain things that really are meaningless, but which you attach meaning to. So my question was, what if these certain things, these rituals, were doing like this butterfly effect on the world to bring about fate? Then, after visiting with a panel of patients at our mental health complex, I learned about dissociative disorder. That's where individuals black out, they lose time, they wake up in strange places, and they don't know how they got there. From that, I created Andrew. But when he wakes up, sometimes he's covered with blood and he's holding a knife. What the heck is he doing? Well, that's the question. But then again, I ask, maybe it's something important. All right, so I assume the two meet and fall in love. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a love story, really, but you know, it's, it's also about how the two of them start to see how their situations fit together. For instance, they have these shared memories. They both see the clock at 11-11. They seem to be connected somehow. And I assume that there's danger afoot. Oh yeah, I mean, they start to be hunted by these demons or possessing people that they know and you know really they have to follow these clues so they can figure out what's really going on before they both get killed. Demons. That's nice. Yeah you know I try to avoid being dark but somehow it just happens. You know honestly for this book I was doing all this really weird research I mean, learning Latin so I could read these ancient texts about demonology and it kind of scared me. I remember one day I was sitting in my college library, okay, and I went to a very, very Christian school. But for some reason I found this copy of this demonology text, and I'm sitting there in the library trying to read it while also sort of covering it up, like it felt like I was reading porn in the middle of the school library, you know. But honestly, it was it's all innocent, because it's really about the good guys. It's about the angels. It's about God's mysterious way of working in the world through these really unlikely means. Hmm, well, that is just fascinating. Where can I buy this book? Well, it's available wherever online books are sold, like Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and Lulu.com. If you shop at Lulu.com, you can also order a cheaper PDF edition. I am going there right now. Well, I appreciate all the sales I can get so that one day I might get interviewed by a real person other than myself. Yes, but maybe these multiple personalities are hidden messengers to bring about the fate of the world. Yeah, no. 11-11!